Week 7. Fun to happen in the bye week. I get a bonus for like getting spot or three passing touchdowns, but I'm, I don't know, it might just be like a temporary thing. I don't know if it was um like a big attribute boost thing for more than a couple games. I did make the subs so. on. They'll run with a former member of the Crimson Tide, Damian Harris. The boy showing how tough he can be to bring down, just fighting his way forward to pick up seven yards. Well, you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. Harris going to get it again on second down. Now a flag oh. comes in from the umpire after a gain of about four. And this looks like it's going to be holding. You need your wide receivers as blockers. Sometimes they get a hold. The big runs are often a result of what they do on the perimeter. In this case, got caught holding, and this one will come back. It'll go down as a gain of six. And that'll make it third down. I think defensively you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tap them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch. Now you put the offense in a position where every series, they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. throw going into the hands of Williams and a five yard gain gets him to the 42 so the completion there but Charles looking at this defense certainly in for a tough task here this afternoon what are some of the keys for them if they want to come out on top well the first thing partner is they just allow to complete again they don't want to get a string the of those going let him get his confidence let him get into the rhythm of the game the flow of the game and all of a sudden he's feeling like he can do no wrong you want to really get after his timing a little bit, knock a few balls away, and make things uncomfortable for him. Because if he feels relaxed, and he fires one that's intercepted. Real life Falcon, AJ Terrell. Touchdown. Pick six. Out of a cover two a uh, flat. I don't think it was a hard flat. Now remember, this is the number one defense. They might run it here. I'm in nickel. Love back to it here after the pick six. That swung out wide to Harris. And not much to speak of. Call it a one yard gain up to the 26. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine for the 26. Out of the shotgun. It's Love. Catch is made by Hawkinson, the tight end. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take what you can get situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives a much better opportunity to convert on third down. And this pass broke. And when I dive at the ball like that, it Contact. lowers their catch percentage, even when I get was a bad dive. run on first down gets him six yards to the 31 the last run got six now second and four play action it's burrow oh the ball comes out on the hit but they'll say it's incomplete so charles you look at this offense what a start to the season five wins without a loss when do you think that you start believing that maybe you're in the midst of something special well, you and I both know every head coach never wants that thought to creep into a locker room. But the truth of the matter is, not quite at this time, because if we look at the Steelers in 2020, they're a great example. Remember, they started 11-0, then lost 5-6 and, and went out in the first round. But I think if you get toward mid-November, the Thanksgiving time frame, and you're still doing this, that's when things start to get real for a ball club. And yeah, this will be good for a pickup of 9 to the 46. On second down, they'll run with Gordon. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. 
That's pretty much meat and potatoes right there, wasn't it? Just go right at them and let your big horse charge up the middle. Not too fancy there, was it? Nothing fancy at all, challenging that defense. And on that go around, the offense won the challenge. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. Now Burrow on first down. And complete to Zach Ertz. And head out of bounds inside the 10. Mark him down at the 9. His passing's been on point on this drive, hasn't it? Been very accurate. Got the ball downfield, gained nice chunks of yardage. But now, in this situation, the field is really condensed, partner. So if he's going to throw the football, that would be pinpoint here. Yeah, so I was going to ask you about that. Field shrinks, has to be sharper, but it's been a good opening drive so far. Now they just want to see if they can cap it off with the bell ringer and put it in the end zone. Second down and goal, Burrow. Forced it, and he's going to lose a yard or two. Taken down behind the line. Aziz Ojolari in there to drop him, and that will go in the books as the first sack of his young NFL career. Congratulations, young man. Third and goal, Burrow. And that is caught. Watch to Smith again. Smith. As Jason Witten won a three passing touch. touchdowns. I thought we missed extra point. Love, they go play action now. I'm a bit on play action. This one complete to his fullback out of the backfield. So they'll get nothing out of that play. And that'll make it second and ten. Throwing. Love. Edwards a first down and more. Damn. And he'll finally be taken down at the two-yard line. A big play there on the catch and run. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yard. And he takes it into the end zone for the Dolphin touchdown. That's great. drive with a run by Gordon and he'll work this forward for about three at second down through one corner 14-7 our score here's second and seven now from the 28 here's Burrow setting up to throw it mm. and he is caught by the Sam they pay me I'll do this for 20 free. 10, 5, touchdown, Falcons. Heather Rich Sherman, I think. C.D. Lamb, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Falcons are able to show off their quick strike ability. I think he went dope. That's a pretty quick response to that last touchdown drive. And it's That's good. <clears throat> 72 yards. Puts him again. More last time. Harris starts to drive on the ground. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. That's going to wind up a play. loss of a full three yards on first down. A three yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up and then some on second and 13. Love's throw taken in by Edwards. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. When you're struggling on offense, you're looking for anything possible to get you going. Sometimes you do it like basketball teams that don't normally press. You put a press on, bring people to life, make them move a little bit quicker. Maybe that'll help them as they head towards the half. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. I'm okay with the call there. In fact, I actually like it. I know they're down a couple of scores, but the running game worked in that situation. I would continue to go in that direction. And after the good game last play, this time they say, uh oh as he's going to be stopped behind the line of scrimmage. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. To throw now, here's Love. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. 
Some of the fans here don't seem too happy about what we've seen in this first half. No, not at all. And I understand why they look lethargic, out of sync, and it shows on the scoreboard. On third down, Love. Open man, he's got him, the tight end, Hawkinson. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a footer. So they run for it with Harris. Good spot on the field to go for it. Kind of no man's land, as they call it, and it worked out. Yeah, they call it no man's land because your punter is telling you it's too short. I'm just going to punt it into the end zone. Your field goal kicker might give you a little rate. And the ball comes out. Love lost it. And the Parsons forced it. it. And got it. He was under duress, surveying, trying to find somebody to get the ball out of his hands. One more passing the touch. Defense, no. They took it out of his hands. And when the ball snapped, I know exactly what the defense is thinking. Get a sack. Put him on the ground. But when you can also knock the ball free while doing so, oh, there's the bonus for you as a defender. Meanwhile, Burrow's throw complete there to Smith. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. To throw again on second down. Burrow. He's going to drop this one down to Gordon. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going. Just a yard on the first down carry. So it's second and nine. Passing here, Joe Burrow. Caught by the tight end, Ertz. Dolphins bring on an extra defensive back on third down. From the shotgun, it's Burrow. Open man, Lamb. It's complete. And he is going to have a Falcons first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. But things are definitely going right for them here in the first half. Pick a down, any down, even third down, no problem. They get a connection there and pick up a fresh set of downs, continuing to move the ball. And he's taken down at the seven after a gain of seven, working with a second and three. Burrow throw. Like that one too. I tried to lob it over the one linebacker like it was gonna work, and then the safety saw it. This time it's third and three. Now it's Burrow. And Burrow gonna slide to the ground as he does pick up the first down. Oh yeah, this, that is, it's like I don't need it to throw Smith a touchdown. We need to throw a passing touchdown. Now Burrow. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Inaccurate. Well, he's been slinging in the first half. You expect everything he throws to go for a touchdown, but I guess he's got to wait to try and pick up that third, isn't he? Yeah, I thought he had him for a second, but you're right not to be. And this is caught for a Falcon touchdown. It's a two-yard lob touchdown. Drag route. One speed linebacker. Right here. Play fake. Here's Locked. Love. Damn, Dix could pick that. I can switch in time. And that's pretty Very indicative good, of the way this one's gone. So the incompletion, and now it's second and ten again from the 25 yard line. Working out of the gun. Love. And the Falcons get there. The Falcons get the sack. Down he goes. Devin White coming in hard there on the blitz, and he gets him seven yards behind the line of scrimmage. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. 
And he's got his big tight end here. Now the Falcons going to use one. Throwing now. Burrow on first down. And he finds his tight end. It's Ertz. And able to get it across the 10 to the 15. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. A reminder, coming up at halftime, we'll send you up to Orlando. Jonathan Coachman is there, and he'll have stats and scores from a busy Sunday in the NFL. First down, here's Burrow. And this one quickly to Lamb. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets this football out shy of the 30 to the 29. And he'll take this up near the 35, maybe the 34. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Burrow's throw taken in by Green here. The Falcons going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. First and ten, Joe Burrow. Able to hit his target, Lamb. And he'll get this to the 30-yard line before crossing over out of bounds. Let's just call it what it is. This has been a flat-out struggle for this defense all game long. They've really had a hard time slowing them down. And while I'm not big on speeches and guys jumping up and down... Oh, I thought for sure that was going to be big. On the offensive lineman's back and off the defender's helmet. To start getting guys on the ground. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Here's Burrow. Escaping the pressure right. And he'll just get rid of it. So back-to-back -back incompletions. Third down here in ten, but you're still in field goal range. And that's the thing to keep in mind. They're in field goal range. So now you don't take any unnecessary risks. But you try and find a way to get back to what you were doing earlier in the drive in order to finish this one off. They'll break the huddle here and go for it. This is fourth down. They'll try and throw for it with Burrow. Over the middle, hauled in by Lamb. And he'll have the first down, getting this one to the 14-yard line. And he'll go right back to Lamb. Touch. Touchdown! He's going to kick the field goal there. They call a timeout. On his way to a monster game. Three for... Gordon on first down, and he'll work this forward for about three at second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. 59 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. Well, you certainly have to give a little the shotgun carry for because Gordon they're more. playing this game mm. now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four, second and six. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown, so a lot of your calls are a setting things team. up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later, and let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. A couple of first downs on the drive already. As he'll go from the 47 now on first down. They run again with Dillon. Dillon a first down and more. And finally taken down at the 35-yard line. Pardon if you want more carries. I think we saw how you get them. Showed that he's got the fresh legs. And he picked up the first down on that run. Don't just ask for them. Show them that you're supposed to get the football. 
Dillon now on first and ten. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. That's a strong pickup right there on first down, and as this drive goes on, yeah, we're seeing an offensive line and running game. Probably two carries. They'll run with a former Badger. It's Corey Clement. Only a yard of the pickup there, and it'll bring up a third down. They'll run again with Clement. And he's able to get the first here as he's taken down at the 25. So far this season, this is an offense that's proved its ability to move the football. I mean, they're in the top five in the NFL and picking up first downs, and they get the conversion here. And I think a lot of that is due to how they win on first and second down because that leaves them third and short, third and manageable. A lot easier to pick them up then, isn't it? It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets them to second and four. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive, because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense get a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. On second down, Clement, and he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. I hope we give enough respect to the big guys up front because they have been getting it done on this drive. The holes have been large, and they've been barreling through them, picking up first downs. Now it's Clement. And this play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back to the 15. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Well, they've had success on the ground on this drive, and that makes the defense more likely to overcommit to stop the run as they did on that play. But keep in mind, it makes him susceptible to play action passes as well. On second down, Dillon. That's and stopped carry. a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. A lot to praise on this drive, obviously. I, I know you're seeing what I'm seeing. Those guys up front, they're getting it done. Doesn't matter what play is called. They are handling their business at the line of scrimmage and dominating right now. And he'll take it into so the end zone. Touchdown Atlanta. His seventh touchdown on the ground. They're going to come out and run it. Off the play fake, Love. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Third quarter from Miami. This is second and ten. Love from the gun. That's into the hands of Edwards. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. Trying to pick it up on the ground with Harris. And he'll have the Dolphins first down as he'll get this up to about the 42. Despite the score, despite the deficit, no quitting this guy. He's running angry, running through arm tackles. He wants to change what that scoreboard is saying. This is Harris. And this play will be the ball. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. Yikes, a four-yard loss really sets him back now for second down. Now Love. Mm. This throw nearly intercepted. Big D lineman almost had it, but third down coming up. Third and long for Love. Going for Metcalf on the deep ball. Got a man, it's caught inside the team. And, and he takes this thing way down into Atlanta territory. It's a big play there for Miami. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Here's Love. And that is caught. Touchdown Miami. Brian Edwards, his first touchdown on the year. And the Dolphins get a slow measure of the down. It's Gordon. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. 
Yeah, I think we can get used to seeing more of that in this fourth quarter, especially if they're having success on the ground like they did there. Yeah, I think back when we met with the head coach in, in preseason, and all he talked about was building a bully. And I think it was this situation he was envisioning. Trying to ice a game, plenty of time left, but being able to give the ball to his big runner and pound away and try and finish off the game. A lot of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Now the handoff comes to Gordon. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 91 yards rushing now for the NFL leader coming into this ball game. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. And he's across midfield and into Miami territory. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. They run once more with Dillon. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. Brandon, sometimes it just comes down to the power of suggestion because I know exactly what they said all week long. We're coming off the open week. We'll have the pressure legs in the fourth quarter, and they will wilt when we get to that point. And right now, it appears that they're thinking that exact thing. Yeah, offensively, they had the bye last week. Defensively, did not. Is that really a big factor? Is that more talk during the week? I think the more that you talk about it, the more that you emphasize it, the more sometimes it comes true for your team. They'll stay on the ground with Clement. And they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I can just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. And by the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see. 100 consistent. yards for Gordon now. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. And strong running there as he's inside the 10 and down to the 8-yard line. Second and five from the 8. Again, it's Dillon. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Falcon football as we welcome you back. They've got it third and goal here as they try to finish off their victory. So out now comes the field goal unit for the Falcons. From the left half, should be a fairly easy one here. Tucker's kick is good. And they're sitting pretty now as the lead grows even further. And with well, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. 
So for the Falcons, we're they almost had a perfect. As as anyone, six and zero oh now through the first month and a half, and they'll return home next week to take on, on the Carolina Panthers. So. Meanwhile, for Miami, they dipped to two and five now with the loss, and they'll try to get back on track next week as they head up to Orchard Park to take on the Buffalo.